to Lupin. Lupin, in fact, has hit a fresh 52-week low now, down close to about 6.5%, taking its 2017 loss to close to about 23%. Ekta, a uh, weak numbers plus US FDA woes. It's bad news all around. Yes, absolutely. Well, for Lupin, uh, you know, it's a fresh 52-week low. And what Lupin has said basically resonates with a lot of other pharma stocks as well, basically where they have alluded to pricing pressure. Now, in terms of the analyst meet that took place yesterday, and I just want to uh, say this as well, that uh, the numbers were largely in line with estimates. It was operationally a sound set of numbers for Lupin this time, but it was the management commentary which has really got the nerves racking for a lot of uh, the analysts and investors. Investors. Now, for example, they said that there is muted single-digit top-line growth in FY18. One, this is because of a high base. Uh, that is because they will see a high base from this year because of Glumetza and Fortimen. Competitive pressures in the U.S. Now, competitive pressures means that the FDA is increasing the amount of uh, regulate, uh, the amount of approvals in, in the U.S. market. Plus, we have the likes of Amazon, which is entering the pharmacy market, which could be disruptive. Vinita Gupta had said that very clearly in her analyst call yesterday. And also, we have buyer consolidation, which is taking place in the U.S. So there is uh, basically Walgreens, which is uh, you know basically consolidated with Rite Aid, and uh, they have 40% market share right now in the market to negotiate lower prices when it comes to drugs. So you have that uncertainty as well. Along with that, you have, uh, you know, variables such as, say, Trump cutting down Medicaid spending. So we don't really know what the impact of that would be. Uh, combine this with the fact that uh, the indoor plant has received six observations as well, largely procedural in nature, no data integrity as clarified by, by the management. But again, that lingering worry is there. You'd like to see an approval come through. You'd, uh, you don't want to see that things are sorted from that. So it's a combination of factors which is really pushing loop and lower. CLSA downgraded the stock as well. All right, Ekta, thanks so much for that. Well, that's a disappointing